We've split the atom, landed on the moon, and mapped the human genome. But do you know what humanity has never seen? An eel having babies. Seriously. For centuries now, even Aristotle thought eels were born from mud because every eel ever caught seemed to have no reproductive organs. Even much later, a young Sigmund Freud, before he became famous for psychoanalysis, spent months dissecting hundreds of eels, searching for their testes. He never found them. Imagine that. The man who tried to decode the human mind couldn't even decode an eel. The truth is stranger. Eels do have sex organs, but they only appear at the very end of their lives. When they leave rivers and lakes and swim thousands of miles to the Sargasso Sea in the Atlantic. That's their hidden destination, the place where they spawn and then die. We've never witnessed this in the wild. All we know is from tracing their tiny transparent larvae drifting back across the ocean like ghostly threads, eventually becoming the eels we see in our rivers. Why does this matter? Because it reminds us not all cycles are visible. Some of the most important transformations in life happen out of sight, quietly, and only after a long journey. Eels hide their purpose until the very end. Humans don't have to. Align your life early, and you won't have to wait for the last chapter to reveal meaning.